There it goes. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. I am your host, Krista Burns, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Um, next to me I have Catherine Brockmeyer, one of our staff here at the Commission, who's going to be um, hosting our panel discussion today. Uh, uh, Encompass Live is the Library Commission's weekly online event, a webinar that we do every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, we do these sessions live and we have a mixture of presentations um, where we have guest speakers and some commission staff and we have a mixture of all that today because we have Catherine and then we have seven now people <laughs> yes, who are going to be talking um, about their experiences and internships. Um, we do a various mixture of things, presentations, interviews, book reviews, little mini web trainings, anything we can think of that might be of interest to uh, Nebraska librarians. So um, today we have our internship section. Session. Um, this is a grant program we have, and I'm going to pass the control over to Catherine, and she's going to take over and um, start us off. Sure. And well, good morning. We're Thank doing. you, everyone, for attending. Um, my mouse doesn't work. You might have to use the space or arrow keys. Okay. It gets there. Here we go. Yes. Um, I'm Catherine Brockmeyer. I'm a research analyst and special projects associate here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Some of the hats that I wear are writing grants, um, helping with conducting evaluations, and um, designing websites. And uh, what I've been involved in for the last few years has been uh, the internship grant program to libraries. Um, I've helped with the um, organization of the grant program um, and the, uh, the administration of the grants to the libraries. So um, I feel I have had an uh, opportunity in the last couple of years to get to know the libraries that have participated in this program and to learn about what they are offering to students and people who are interested in getting their feet wet in the as in um, libraries to consider as a career. So uh, we thought this would be a good time to share where we're at right now with the current program we have and what will steps will we, be, we will be taking in the next year to continue this program. So today we um, are going to talk about the current year's internship grant program and uh, going to talk about the objectives of it. And then um, we have brought in supervisors and library directors to talk about their own personal experiences with participating in this grant program. And um, lastly, we will talk about the um, upcoming internship grant opportunities. So the 2010-2011 internship grants, they were funded through a grant from a Nebraska foundation uh, who generously do, uh, gave $10,000. They do wish to remain anonymous, otherwise I'd be happy to name them at this time. They uh, have been strong supporters of libraries, um, have given individual grants to libraries, and so we um, thought that they might, this might be a good fit, and we approached them, and they indeed for two years now have provided $10,000 grants to the NLA. The um, Nebraska Library Association is the primary applicant because they, they are uh, the 501c3, they're a nonprofit organization, and it was a good fit for them to be the primary applicant considering that these grants go to public libraries in Nebraska. And um, NLC has helped uh, co-sponsor this this uh, grant application, and we've helped with the administration of the grant. These grants are available to accredited public libraries in Nebraska, and in this past grant cycle, we awarded eight $1,000 grants and four $500 grants to libraries, so 12 libraries, total of $10,000. This um, program ran from June 11th of last year through June 10th of this next year, so internships have to wrap up by the end of or by mid-June. And uh, of the 12 libraries, eight have completed their internships. Here are the libraries that participated, or that are participating. And as you can see, it's a wide range of populations. And ge geography-wise, too, um, we wanted to make sure that we were hoping to find uh, libraries in rural areas, and rural can mean a couple of different things. It can mean proximity to a larger micropolitan or metropolitan area. It can also um, just mean the size itself. So as you can see, um, Norfolk is uh, a, a micropolitan community, but also you might consider them somewhat rural because they're further away from um, Lincoln and Omaha. Mm. Um, and our tiniest 
community was Emerson, and the largest here uh, was was Papillion. Yeah. So. Here's a map of where they're located uh, as far west as well, we have Lexington here, and we have this <laughs> little one. I don't know Nebraska geography as well. Well, here's Bassett. <laughs> this is terrible of me. Okay, who, when it's your turn, you can school me on my geography. Who are who is that? Someone tell us in questions. Who? Which? <laughs> Sweeping water. Okay, you'll tell me who you are. That's deplorable. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the the uh, program goals of of this grant is that libraries receive financial assistance and guidance to provide internship stipends to students and promising students get involved in real library work that takes advantage of their experience and interests. Basically what we're trying to do is show that work, you know, that how work in libraries can be appealing and how it might be um, considered as a, as a career. And the outcomes that we had selected for this uh, grant were that interns will report positive experiences with their work assignments and increased interest in library careers. Nebraska Library staff will report positive experiences with grant-funded internships and that communities will benefit from the internship grant experience. The third one is sometimes the toughest one to prove um, because we don't know what kind of a lasting impact having an intern in your library will have, but um, it's always good to try to get feedback from your patrons and, and to see what kind of a, uh, what kind of a presence uh, you're making in the community by having an intern in your library. Mm -hmm. Um, let us start with David Mixdorf from South Sioux City Public Library. We're going to bring him up first to speak and uh, hear a little bit about um, their library's experience with uh, their intern. Okay, Dave, you should be unmuted. See if you can say can hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Um, well, starting out, this was the second intern that our library has had um, about three years, four years ago, we had the first intern. And uh, he's actually working part-time at the library now as he's finishing up college. And he plans on going um, into library work as a university setting. And so, and you can actually see that's going to be a perfect fit for him. Um, today's person, or this year's person that we had, um, was a student who's been in the library. She's been part of the Teen Advisory Board. Um, she was just graduating from high school. And what, when I suggested to our children's librarian that this gal might be a nice fit for it, uh, we talked with her. She was interested in being a school teacher. And so this, we thought, would be kind of a nice little thing because she thought about being a school librarian. And one of the nice things that she found is something that I always try to promote. I always tell high school students and first, second year college students, try and get involved in an area that you're interested in, just so you can see what it's like. Because you don't want to go all through four years of college and realize, boy, I don't like this at all. Well, when she got involved in it, she realized she was a little more timid around the kids than what she was kind of expecting. And so I think it kind of opened up her eyes on kids. Um, it also, as we kept emphasizing, plan ahead, yo. Know, if you got one activity planned, have a second and third as a backup, just in case something happens. Um, don't automatically think that, you know, oh, we're going to have 25 kids today, and then one kid shows up. Or, okay, last time we only had one kid show up, and we have 25 kids show up. So you got to be real flexible. So there was a lot of things that she kind of learned at this experience. Yeah. Okay. Um, could you tell us a little bit, Dave, about how you recruited your intern this year? Um, like I said, she was a she was a kind of a volunteer anyway for our teen advisory, advisory. program, and we had um, we have probably about seven or eight young people, and she was the oldest one. Um, the other ones are pretty much sophomores, freshmen. And when they actually found out about this, 
the ones that were sophomores are like, okay, how do we get involved in this too? This sounds like something interesting. So we probably in about another year or two, we're going to have at least one or two other people that are very interested in it. And um, but this young gal, like I said, I thought this would be a perfect fit for her because she was thinking of being a school teacher. And so I thought, well, what better way than being part of the youth program and working with our youth director? Great. And um, approximately, do you know approximately how many, hour, how many hours she worked? She was, she was uh, we were one of those kind of the part-time. So she was about, if I remember, 12 to 13 hours a week. And we kind of split it up so that majority of her time was going to be spent down in the children's area. But for several hours uh, each week, she spent specialized in another area. So for one time period, she was in reference. One time period, she was just back in the circulation area doing that. One time, she worked with the cataloging. And for some odd reason, she didn't want to learn the budget and how my part of the job. She wasn't interested in learning how to do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> So, but most of the other areas, she did some sort of part in it, all the way to um, preparing magazines, preparing books, you know, doing that type of stuff to get them ready to go out on the shelves. So we kind of ran her through the whole gamut of everything. Well, and I'm glad that you brought that up because that is one of the objectives of the grant is that they are introduced to all aspects of the library, even if you want to, them to spend the majority of their time on one particular area that they are that they see all facets of library work everything that yep. goes on behind yep. the scenes and at the front desk and so it sounds like she had a very good introduction um, to all aspects of library work um, what was what was some of the feedback that you got from your staff about your intern well she was someone that everybody knew I mean she was she literally grew up at the library so everybody saw her go from the little kind of pigtailed gal up to you know the young lady that she is nowadays so I mean it was just like having her here like she always was anyway and um, we don't really have like a volunteer program where we've got people coming in on a weekly basis and doing stuff the student interns kind of plan different things uh, if we uh, try some sort of special event where we just need extra people the student interns kind of they come in and assist at that type of stuff so but um, the like I said the positive thing is one for her I think it really opened up her eyes what it was like to work with kids. You know, how how you have to be literally prepared for anything at any time. Um, I don't know if that changed her opinion when she went to college to be a teacher. I haven't heard anything like that. Um, but it's just one of those good things. Good response back. Um, she actually had um, a piece in the paper. You know, I heard things from people in the community saying, well, you hired somebody. It was an intern that lived here in town. That was kind of a nice thing to do. A lot of people in the community knew who she was anyway because she was one, kind of one of those active individuals in high school. So she was pretty well known in the area. And little kids really seemed to like her. Sounds like it was a very uh, successful venture on both, both ends for the intern and for your library. Thanks, Dave. Um, does, it, does anyone have any questions for Dave at this time? If you have a question, you can just type it into the question section, or if you have your own mic and you want me to unmute you, just uh, say that, and we will. And while we're doing that, I'm going to um, talk just a little bit about Gail Roberts. She's at Blair. She was unable to join us today, um, but this is one of the quotes that uh, I got from her intern's um, evaluation that the experience was definitely worth it. I learned a lot more than I'd ever known, have known on my own. This will help me so much as I continue my education in libraries and their work. So I believe she is uh, pursuing an education in, in library science. I'm not sure at what level. Um, and Gail, Gail just asked me to pass on a few things. She said this is our third intern and she said the biggest thing to keep in mind is just to plan, to have a, have a really good plan in place um, for, for your internship. That's what she wanted me to pass on to the group. And we're going to move um, Diana Johnson up and listen, uh, get some feedback from her now at this point in time. And uh, just as a way to introduce Stromsburg Public Library, her intern said that she liked or he liked helping the patrons, especially kids, find books they would love to read and that they found they really enjoy withdrawing books. 
<laughs> Weeding, <laughs> yes. And then some comments that came back from the community were that the, the parents really enjoyed the programming from the summer reading program. We do have a question in oh, our question okay. section. Actually, it's more for you, I think, because it sure. wants to know, does the grant have an age limit, um, lower or upper, of how old the interns can be? Um, there's no upper age limit. We're looking for people who are interested in pursuing um, uh, a career in libraries, if possible, um, or that are pursuing their education. We've had people who are over 30, 40, 50 that are um, considering um, entering the workforce in libra the library mm -hmm. workforce. Oh, yeah. And then um, I, the youngest, I don't believe we have a minimum age, but we are looking for um, high school, of course, high school age and up. So because um, they're starting to think thinking, about what their career might be, yeah. right, right. So okay. Diana's unmuted. So. Okay, Diana, thanks for joining okay. us today. Thank you. I'm glad to do it. Um, our intern was a woman, so she would have, be on the upper upper age. She has three school age children, and she was working part time to get her college degree and she took a couple of uh, library science classes as a part of uh, her curriculum and so she was, uh, we thought she would be an excellent fit uh, for our library as an intern. She was excellent with the public. She really um, did well. You knew that she liked people. Uh, she was good at the circulation desk. She was good at computer searching. And much of her time was conducting the summer reading program. And uh, many parents told me, as, as you can see from this quote, that they really, uh, their kids really liked her. Um, she also was kind of in charge of a program for the young adults. That was less successful as far as the numbers go. But the ones that came really had a good time. And I felt afterwards that I maybe should have given her a little more guidance on this particular aspect. We had a whole new group on the Youth Advisory Board. And whereas the previous advisory board uh, had a real good mix, um, this one was a little different. We had one person on there that was real negative. And I think she had a hard time knowing how to handle him. And I think she was um, taken aback. Uh, neither she nor I would have guessed that this person would have been so negative. But I think she enjoyed her experience a lot. She is still um, taking library science courses. She's doing a practicum this semester. Um, in a, a small college library. So she definitely wants to um, go into library science, but she will just have her associate's degree, I think, this spring. And then she goes to UNO to uh, do the last two years. Um, I did want to mention that I thought the grant application procedure was very easy to understand and to um, do. Um, and I liked the question about um, the activities, the schedule of activities. That forced me to plan uh, a program for the intern and then also to keep looking at this uh, uh, schedule so that I can so have a task. I'm sorry, go ahead. I like, I, like, <laughs> I like the flexibility that we were given to adapt the program to the needs of our library. That's great to hear. Yes, uh, we we're, were happy to provide some guidance and some ideas for, um, for what all the orientation to the library might entail and some of the things that you might do. Um, we have a have a link to another internship program that has um, gained some nationwide recognition, um, and so you're able to um, access their curriculum to get some ideas. And of course, the commission and NLA are also help, happy to help um, with the planning of your own curriculum or orientation for your 
for your uh, students. And, and today's um, program is also great because I think that these directors and supervisors are now able to hear from each other what um, some of their strategies are uh, for conducting an internship, especially for people who are considering doing this for the first time. Well, so I would um, certainly, I would certainly be happy to do it again. I really, uh, I think uh, both she and I had a good experience. That is excellent to hear. Thank you, Diana. Hmm? Does anyone have any questions for Diana? Uh, did, Diana, did you already have her in mind when you applied for this grant? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. If you already have someone um, that you have in mind um, to hire, I, um, you know, however you choose to hire, it's uh, up to the individual library how they how they elect to hire um, an intern. And so some libraries already have someone in mind um, before they even apply for this for their grant. And then others, they haven't hired anyone yet, but they have a process that they have in place um, to advertise the position and, and then um, have a competitive um, hiring hiring um, process. And that, uh, what, whatever works for your library is, um, is fine with us. Okay. All right, thank you, Diana. You bet. And I think we're going to mute you at this time. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if yep. you still want to talk while you're still on the phone, just go ahead and raise your hand, and Crystal will bring you up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head to North Fork. Good morning. I'll try not to cough my way through this. <laughs> Hi, Karen. <laughs> Joining us. To, um, we had a, a wonderful experience, and this year was the first time that we had ever done the internship program and we felt it was very successful. The intern that we had actually contacted us and her school librarian did and recommended this young woman for an internship. So we went through the application process which I have to agree with uh, Diana was a very clear and forthright and very helpful. And Mary um, already knew at the time that we got the internship for her that she was going to UNO. She had just graduated from high school last spring. She's been a lifelong library user. And she, her plan was to go to UNO and major in library science. And that is what she has done. We try to, as equally as we could, divide her time uh, among the different areas of the library. We made sure that she uh, spent time in the circulation area, uh, learning about our automated system as far as uh, checking items in and out, assisting patrons, shelving, so forth. Uh, we also had her spend time with our reference department on a regular basis. She also spent time in youth services, which was wonderful to have her help with the summer reading program. And she spent time in technical services, uh, just getting a, an idea of what the cataloging and processing process is like. Uh, I think she especially enjoyed her time working with the children with summer reading program and then we also had her spend time with our outreach librarian going out to shut-ins and to nursing homes in the area to take books out to library users that cannot come to the library. We also had her spend some time with material selection and we had her work on a special project in our young adult paperback collection, uh, helping us do some collection development in that area. And I think she especially enjoyed that as well. And I also had her spend time with um, our library director and secretary to get an idea of what um, kind of a budget we work with, how budgeting is done, what a library director does, what their library secretary does. And I think this was wonderful for Mary. I think she felt very positively about the experience and I think it was certainly eye-opening 
that you know when you're a library user for years and years, you don't really have the whole picture of what all a library does, the kind of work and what all goes on behind the scenes. And I, I think she found that very interesting and helpful. And I think this whole experience really reconfirmed her choice of profession that she was going into. And I think she is doing very well at UNO and plans to eventually get her master's in library science. And I kind of suspect she'll want to work with children, but I, I could be wrong. Um, now, about, oh, two weeks ago, I had a young lady who is currently a student at UNL contact me interested in doing an internship this coming summer. And this young lady, I've known since she was a baby, she uh, is from a small community just north of Norfolk, but her family homeschooled, and so they used our library extensively the whole time she was growing up. And she's currently working on a bachelor's degree in history, and her intent is when she completes that to go into the master's program, get an MLS at UNO. And so I'm hoping that we can um, get an internship lined up for her this summer. I think she'd be wonderful. I think it would be a fabulous experience for her to get a better idea of what all is involved in a library. I think it was very good for our staff because those that I they had a regular time each week that they spent with her and it really got them to thinking about, okay, why did I choose this profession? What is it um, that I really enjoy about it? How can I um, give this intern a, a complete picture of what this area of type of library work is entails. And and I think having done this last year, that if we get the opportunity to do this again, which I hope we do, um, I think we'll all be more comfortable with it. Not that we were uncomfortable, but we just, since we'd never done it before, this was new territory. And I think we would do an even better job of it um, the second time around. And I just think, too, uh, the, intern the intern we had was Mary Winter. Was Mary Winter and she, was, and she, was, she was just a fabulous just a young fabulous lady. Young lady. And and very, very, very quick very study, quick study um, grasped um, things grasped quickly, quickly, and just did amazing work. So we were very lucky to have her. And I know the... Um, parents and children involved in the summer reading program, and just our regular patrons. Um, when she was using the circulation desk, all commented that they thought it was really nice to see um, a young woman getting a chance to um, try out the profession and um, do an internship. And she worked so well with people. It was very nice, and I am fully confident that if we can get the funding, the funding again, again, I, I, think, I think Emily will be uh, an excellent fit as well. I'm just so excited that these two young ladies have um, made the decision to go into the library profession. I think that's about all I have, unless someone has some questions. Some questions. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions for Karen? Um, no, not for Karen. Not at no. this time? I have a general question that's in here, but okay. yeah, it wasn't specific to Karen. Well, before we get to that, mm -hmm. thank you, Karen. Um, it sounds like everyone from your intern, through your staff, through your uh, public, uh, greatly benefited from you having an intern and having an internship. It, it was a wonderful yeah, experience. Wonderful I can't stand enough about, about it. Great. That's uh, it's good news to hear. Thank you. And the general question, um, Krista? Uh, so from our commission staff here, they want to know, do some of the libraries actually hire the students or are most using a contract relationship? I don't know if they mean hire for the internship or afterwards, though. Uh, well, um. there are two ways that, you, uh, that libraries can choose to hire an intern. They can either bring them on as staff or they can contract with them. Mm. Um, and Mary Jo probably has a better understanding what the difference between those two things is. 
Um, but I guess there are, you know, you, you can either hire as temporary staff or you can hire as contract um, with your with your um, intern. And so the, uh, the, that is entirely up to the library which direction they they choose. Uh, we do not we do not NLA did not determine, and NLC will also not make that determination for the library. And if that's it, if that's unclear, go ahead and shoot out another question mm -hmm. on chat, and we'll readdress that. Thanks so much, Karen. Okay. You're now welcome. We have, You're welcome. Now we have Evelyn Ost from um, Rock County Public Library up in Bassett. Hi, Evie. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Good morning. We can hear you just fine. Would you like to share a little bit about your internship this year? Yes, I would. Um, we actually... Uh, um, have had three internships and uh, the we've had a, a, a young man and uh, two young ladies and uh, they are all three currently now off in college um, one uh, the the young man we had is going into computer science and so we spent some time working with him on the careers available as a IT tech and libraries and make sure that he understood that and and uh, the other two young ladies are going into education. And um, uh, one thing I, I do want to say that I think it is important that to, as a library administrator that you make sure the staff is comfortable with the mm -hmm. idea of working with an intern and in supportive. And, and uh, as we're preparing for the grant application, we use the recommended resources that are on the internship grant website and completing the grant application and preparing for a possible intern position. And uh, we always advertise the position and uh, with a complete job description, just like any other staff opening. And uh, we require a resume uh, submission and then the staff selected the three applicants to interview. And as a small rural library, this can be kind of uncomfortable for staff to select the applicants. So we uh, have gone to having two board members select the, uh, the applicants and interview the applicants. Um, we do this because we feel that since the two staff members may have predisposed opinions of the applicants because of our experience working with students, uh, this has worked very well for us. And, hopefully eliminated any hard feelings the applicants might have towards staff if they weren't chosen for the position. And plus we had a situation last year where one of the applicants was the granddaughter of a generous anonymous donor to our library foundation. And her gifts are only known to the staff members and the board members have no clue who that person is. And we didn't want that to influence who was chosen. And, and by the way, the, one, uh, the granddaughter was not chosen as the top applicant by the board. So. That's worked well for us. And uh, as uh, we prepare for this, we we, uh, this, there, we are a very small rural library, and we only have two applicants, and, two staff, excuse me. And uh, we develop an orientation checklist that, uh, and the list of things that we want to, you know, tell the internists they come on duty and. and uh, and then we also uh, start working right away and we're starting, you know, we always do that ahead of time. We complete a list of proposed activities we wanted the intern to work on and accomplish during their 100 hours. And uh, we, uh, we like to give our intern uh, some challenging projects. We also do expose them to every aspect of the library field. But, uh, you know, we uh, also want them to have some projects that they can say, I did this and this was mine during the summer. And uh, just to give them a broader perspective of the exciting work that could be in the, uh, as a career in the library field. Uh, some of these successful projects that they've worked on included updating the library website, uh, retyping and reforming the library policy. And uh, last year our intern created a professional Facebook account for us and, and then she instructed the staff on the on posting library photos, news, and events. And, and uh, the young man that we had as an intern, he, uh, his uh, main project was uh, researching a gaming project for the library. And, and he set up a community youth committee and to find out what the youth 
thought we should have as far as games and devices in this project. And, and he led this committee, and then he developed a, the list of devices and the games that he thought we should have. And, and he also uh, uh, determined uh, all the prices for this and, and uh, set up a gaming budget. So when it came time for me to apply for a youth services grant, uh, the planning was already done. It was fabulous and, and just went so smoothly. And uh, also, uh, you know, we uh, you know we, we live in a very small rural area, and and so in our community, uh, we feel that students who grow up here are not locally exposed to a library where the um, because the two staff persons do everything, and none of us are specialized in a, and the only other one would be a school media specialist. So we always make sure we spend some time visiting with them on the types of librarians and careers available. And I know last summer when our server computer developed a glitch and we were without automation for two days, the, uh, our intern got a really good taste of the importance of technology and the need for technicians and libraries. She about went, she just thought two days of manually writing everything down was just awful and couldn't wait for it to be up and running. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, as far as, uh, and as far as, uh, you know, community benefit, uh, I can just say that uh, board members and staff comment on interns' high level of energy and efficiency. She was just, uh, every year I think we've thought, gee, we got the best one yet. And, and one patron stopped in to say goodbye and commented the intern was a bright ray of sunshine. Uh, for the library because of her friendliness when she worked at the front desk and and uh, we've gotten some great comments on our Facebook presence and and uh, the staff has found Facebook to be a quick and easy communication tool for the library neither neither one of us had used it before and, and it's just so much it's so easy to use and comments received included this is a wonderful addition to your services at the library and it's great to see you on Facebook and and um, our intern also last summer assisted the staff with mailing and completion of a preschool story hour survey and made library bookmarks for all new patrons and newcomers to Rock County for our chamber welcome basket. So that was just a nice thing to have done. Uh, so, you know, I would say start making those lists now if you're planning on applying and, and come up with the suggestions for them to do. Uh, the only issue that we ever had was uh, we had a little problem with one of our interns of having how to deal with your peers if they come in and they just want to hang out and visit. And so I think if you cover that in the orientation process when they first come on board, that, that just wasn't a problem ever again. So um, that's just something you can deal with. Um, and I just would encourage every librarian to try this. It, 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 it just was a, it's been a great experience for us. And, and uh, I can tell you from my own personal story, uh, I served as a volunteer library aide in my little high school when I was back in high school, and I, I never dreamed I would I would work in a library someday. Well, here I am. I'm, I've been at it for 30 years in, in the field, and I love it. So I just encourage you. You, you can make a difference to these students, and 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 I'm going to be retiring in a few years, and we need more <laughs> young people in the field. <laughs> and that's about all I have to say. Well, thank you so much. It sounds like uh, some of your goals are to plant the seed, um, to give them a general orientation, and then also to have some special projects that they can own. And um, it sounds like a really great combination for a successful internship. Yes, uh, and the intern we had last year, well, we've had two of them come back and say they would like to do it again, but our policy is kind of that. Uh, the board kind of feels like we should open it up and let others have the opportunity to. Mm -hmm. But that's a great compliment to you that they want to come back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any Thanks. questions for um, Evelyn? No, nothing has popped up. Okay. I'll let you know if they do. All right. Thank you. Let's hear from Mimi and Skyler. I think Krista's pulling her up right now. We've got a little glitch, a little delay in our on our end here for just a second. There we go. Hi, Mimi. Good morning. Thank you for having me. 
Oh, thanks so much for being here. Sure. Um, I can just start right now with my information for you. Okay, We're a little welcome. over over a third of the way through our internship grant. We had a couple people who came in and asked us about the internship um, because they knew that we had done one previously. So when the opportunity arose to apply for the grant, we thought that we were set. But by the time we received the grant funds, we realized that the people that had talked to us were maybe not the best fit for us. So I advertised through the guidance counselor with the local high school and also sent information to Central Community College instructors of the Library and Information Services AA program. Um, I was surprised that we really didn't have any takers. So at that point, we're, we're not sure how we were going to proceed. But then we were fortunate. We had a high school student come in and do something else for us here. And I realized that she would be a good candidate. So I asked her about um, her plans for after school. And she mentioned that she might like to go into social work or become a librarian. So at that point, I thought, OK, maybe this is our person. So I told her that we had an internship available. And it's, if she would like to fill out an application, we would consider her for the position. And we've, uh, after talking with her some more and reviewing her application, uh, we decided that she was really going to be a good fit for us. So we were really pleased about that. And she has done a really good job for us, although she She's a little shy and consequently has, was a little apprehensive at first. But so far, she's worked at the circulation desk for us, is learning about reference resources, um, about covering books. And um, she especially enjoys working with the books that we are reading. I think that was a comment from one of the other libraries. Um, she was able to sit in on a library board meeting last night. Um, she's looking forward to spending some time learning about cataloging procedures. And we're hoping that, um, well, we're planning on coming up with the opportunity for her to help us with some adult and youth programming and or helping us with an inventory. She's mentioned that she is enjoying her time with us and that she especially enjoys helping people find their materials and putting books away. And it's really nice to find somebody that likes putting books away. And um, she enjoys <laughs> removing the books from our integrated library system and from Cat Express. That's the part of weeding that she likes, being able to take work at the computer and um, take the items out of the system. So some of the things we've learned along the way. Don't make the application process too difficult. Try to make sure that the applicant is really interested in libraries and not just looking at this internship as a job. That's something that we've seen in the past. Um, make a plan and list of the items that you want to cover and realize that since this is an internship, we're not necessarily going to be able to cover everything planned, but that we will adapt along the way. We want to play to the intern's strong interests and abilities and encourage such. Um, some of the impacts that we're dealing with, um, good impacts, of course, that she is excellent help for our staff, um, has a very good personality, so she works well with the staff and with our patrons. She is a Spanish speaker, and in our community, that is uh, indeed an asset. Um, she's, we're hoping that um, when she finishes here, that she will uh, volunteer for us or for the high school library. She's actually a junior, so she may be one of the youngest people that have participated in the program. Um, but I think that actually we're giving her um, some good basic information that I'm hoping will encourage her along the way. Um, that was about all I wanted to mention, but I will um, comment on something that was brought up earlier about contracting um, the intern or I can't remember what the other or just hiring them we contract that makes it easier for our uh, city administrator to deal with that basically then um, they're just paid a the, the straight um, 
ten dollars per hour, and we don't have to deal with um, in, uh, deductions for income taxes and so on. So that's kind of the difference between contracting and hiring. Um, mm -hmm. That's primarily uh, what I wanted to mention. We've just really been happy with the young lady who is working with us, and um, needless to say, we would do this again. And um, we're, we're trying to work to her strengths and take advantage of the skills that she has at the same time. Wonderful input. Thank you so much, Mimi. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Certainly. Does anyone mm -hmm. have any questions for Mimi at this time? Mm -hmm. uh, no, Mimi did mention something yet. about with the contract uh, that it's, um, she mentioned the $10 an hour, and I want to bring that up real quickly because um, one of the comments that we have received from especially some of the smaller libraries is if they, if you break it out that way and the staff seem to have an understanding that these interns are receiving ten dollars an hour they may be getting paid more than your than your permanent staff and mm -hmm. so um, one way to look at it is it's a thousand dollar stipend and that they're putting in a hundred hours they can do the math um, and they will see it averages out to ten dollars an hour um, but you're not held to having them just do 100 hours you're not held to averaging it out to ten dollars an hour um, it's completely up to the library how many hours they wish for the intern to complete. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, that seems to be the trend. Most of these interns do put in a, uh, an average of 100, 100 hours, and so it does average out for them to be $10 an hour. But it varies from library to library, and it is up to the library's discretion. So I just wanted to add that. Thank you so much, Mimi. Certainly. Who's next? Okay, we've heard from Diana, and now we're going to Amy. Amy's from Weeping Water, and this is her uh, this is her first year with the internship program. Hi, Amy. We're going to unmute you here real quick. There you go. You should be able to speak now. Hi. Can you Hi. hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let you know that this was my first um, uh, intern that we've had. And how did that Can go? You hear me? For? Yes, oh, yes, yes, of course. Um, okay, it went it went well. Um, I had the school librarian refer her to me, um, and then I applied for the grant. Um, she was interested in reading and libraries, and um, was helping out at the school um, library. Um, let's see, uh, she has done front desk, um, processing books with me, shelving books. We've done some special projects. Um, the young adult section. Um, she's an assistant patron. She's been a really good help. Um, I would, I did like Evelyn's um, suggestion where they advertise an inter interview. Um, so maybe some other pe people will will know about it. Maybe for next time. Um, and I do like the flexibility of, you know, letting uh, letting us handle it kind of the way we want to, as far as different libraries um, handle it differently. Um, the only problem I may have had is she um, was real excited about the beginning and has become pretty busy um, during the school year. So I think I would um, make sure at the beginning that I say, you know, we would put set some hours um, as to when they would work, and because that really has kind of been um, not real. Um, kind of just, she just kind of comes and goes, and, and I'd like to do it differently next time if I had the chance. Um, she's also helped out with the Halloween program. Um, that was kind of a nice help to have an extra hand there. Um, it's just been a, it's been a really good experience. Great. Uh, what what are some fresh perspectives that she's brought to you and to the library? Um. <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's nice to see. Um, we don't have a lot of young adults that come in. Uh, she's a senior this year, um, so it, it's a nice um, perspective to see what uh, she likes to read, what's popular with um, the kids her age. Um, you know, maybe help bring in some new young adults to our library. Great, great. And how how are the how are your patrons and your customers responding to her? being at your library. Very well. 
very well. Um, they like to see, you know, she's been very friendly and helpful with the patrons, and so um, it's she's been very good, very good for us. Great, great. And so this is this was your first time to apply, uh, Deary. I know the application took place last last spring, but is there is there anything that you remember about applying for the for the grant or the resources that we offered? Anything that helped you along the way? Um, it it was a great um, first grant application. Um, it was a great process. It was um, I did like the questions, uh, like Diana had said about you know what are you going to do with your intern when you do get her or him and um, and that was very helpful in planning how I was going to handle it when they did um, when they did come um, so it it was a good there's a few bumps along the way but you got it figured out and it, it was a great um, process great so you've got one under your belt I do I do okay super thank you so much Amy Thank you. I assume Mary's left. Okay. And we're going to hear from. We're going to hear from. Feedback. We're, we're going to hear from um, Mary in at Sutton Memorial Library in Papillion. And we're going to unmute you here in just a second, Mary. There you are. Okay, you are you are ready to go. Can you? Are you ready to chime in here? Okay. Hi, everyone. Yes. Can you oh. um, yeah, you're very quiet. Um, I don't know if you can get closer to your microphone or turn up. I'll, I'll see what I can do about turning it up. There we oh, go. That's, that's better. much better. Is that better? Okay. Yes, yes, much better. Yes. Great. Anyone out there is having trouble, you might need to turn up your volume as well. Sometimes that's just something we can't control. <laughs> um, go ahead. This is uh, our second time having an intern at our library. Um, the first time uh, we hosted a high school student. Just click off. And, and she um, was uh, very successful, I thought, um, although not uh, clearly wanting to go to library school with, uh, through the internship. Um, this year, uh, we plan to host two interns. We were going to split the grant in half and have two, um, two separate internships. And um, I wrote up a weekly plan of activities that would um, have an intern shadowing and experiencing um, the jobs of each member of the staff with an emphasis on customer service. Um, but we had a glitch. Um, when the city uh, HR person told us that um, we would have to pay for, uh, treat this as a new hire and um, pay for um, background checks and drug screenings and uh, training and have taxes taken out of our grant. Um, so budgets being what they are, we decided uh, to, and we were allowed to, have um, all of those charges um, taken out of the $1,000 grant, and um, we went with one intern instead of two. So my one intern is um, performing 86 hours of uh, internship, and um, it's actually uh, worked out pretty well for us in that um, she is going through the original um, 10 weeks of uh, a very uh, kind of strict weekly plan of activities and then an additional um, 36 hours of uh, what I'm considering professional training. Um, she is actually here with me now, experienced in the webinar and getting a taste of um, what some of the professional duties um, of a librarian are. Um, we'll be attending a, a going to some other libraries to visit and see how they um, work. We are also going to spend some time um, working on budgets and um, the weeding process, some of the, the actual uh, professional duties that a, a library director performs. So all in all, it's been um, 
a really good experience for us. Thank you. And uh, uh, tell us a little again. Uh, tell us again a little bit about your intern and their possible career goals. Our intern uh, is a recent um, college grad who um, just yes. I, I, for the um, for the nature of the grant um, is looking to where to go next and, uh -huh. and trying to choose a career path. Um, and I'm hoping that this will will aid her in that process. Um, we used, in, in our grant process, um, we uh, used uh, the local contacts we have at UNO, Dr. Becky Pasco, as referrals for, mm -hmm. for um, possible applicants. And also, um, I sent out um, notices to uh, the local community college. They have a library assistant program. And um, we're trying to target, um, in, in a lot of cases, people that uh, really had an idea that they wanted to work in the libraries but never had any experience with the library. So to give them a little bit of an up uh, towards their profession. Great. Thank you so much, Mary. Does anyone have any questions for Mary? Doesn't look like anything has popped up. We have a little notice over here. If there was anything new, okay. Nope. All right. Nothing new. Well, thank you for your insight, Mary. Thanks for sharing uh, what's going on at your library. And uh, one of the things Mary mentioned um, is uh, introducing uh, interns to other libraries. Um, if you know, if there's a chance to take your intern and um, introduce them to institutional libraries or a also a local college library and have them meet librarians who are um, in other types of libraries. That's um, certainly uh, an aspect of the in your internship curriculum that you could explore. And so I just wanted to point that one out. That was something new um, that I hadn't heard um, from, from the libraries doing before. So um, that's a new, uh, a new twist. So that, um, that wraps up um, all of our uh, libraries that are represented today. Um, we are at the top of the hour, and I have about five more minutes worth of That's fine. Um, yeah. material to discuss here. So um, we're just going to go, you know, no problem. We can go over a little bit. Okay. It won't stop us from doing that. <laughs> okay, great. We're just going to gonna keep going here with, of course, our thanks to all of these supervisors and directors who have... Um, chipped in today to discuss their experience with the internship grant program. Your insight has been very valuable, I think, for each other, for um, the NLC staff, for NLA, um, and hopefully for those in attendance today who are considering uh, hosting an intern at their library. That's a good segue into what's coming up here this month. We have um, the, the new 2011 grant opportunity. Um, the Nebraska Library Commission received a grant from the Institute for Museum and Library Services through the Laura Bush 21st Century Skills Grant Program that allots um, funding for us to disperse uh, internship grants to public libraries. It's uh, the same program that's been going on for the last three years, two years through NLA, and then the year before that, um, at least one year before that, through um, a previous IMLS grant program. And um, I do believe NLA is also seeking funding um, for this year, but we certainly do have secured um, several thousand dollars uh, to, to go ahead and start um, to offer the grants again this year. So the money has been secured. It will be offered. Um, the name of our grant is Cultivating Rural Librarians Technology Skills. So there are some things that our grant is focusing on, and uh, one of those is the fact that uh, the especially in our rural areas, which can either be by size or by geography, once again. And this is not to discount our micropolitan and metropolitan areas. It's just one of the focus, a focus of our grant, um, is that in some of these smaller towns uh, that we want to be sure that we are bringing in um, people into the profession that will be interested in working in, um, er in the rural parts of Nebraska. And another part of this grant focus is on technology skills that um, our librarians that we have coming up um, have uh, 
good tech, strong technology backgrounds um, that they are. Krista might actually be able to talk a little bit about that with some of the skills mm -hmm. that we hope for librarians to have since she's in tech access <laughs> services. But um, that is oh. one of that's one of the focus of our of our grant is and that we're hoping yeah. that some of these internships will um, play off of that and um, work with interns uh, to um, make sure that they are aware of the role that technology does play in library mm -hmm. services. So a little bit about these grants. They will be awarded to accredited public libraries once again. They expose interns to library work. They encourage our interns to consider library careers. And it does provide funding for new and extra staffers. A lot of libraries are able to provide program they, programming they would otherwise not be able to provide because of the extra hand that they have on board. So. Um, the application cycle starts just around the corner. We will open up the application um, process on the 18th of this month and the deadline is a quick turnaround too. It's just a little over a month um, so you have a chance to um, gather your information and prepare a grant application. The award um, announcement will be made then a month later and the reason we're offering this up so quickly and having such a quick turnaround time is some of the feedback we received from some of the libraries is that the process was going on later in the year, closer to March, April, May, and that it uh, didn't allow them to be as competitive in hiring, for the, especially for the summer, because a lot of the people they were interested in hiring were looking for summer jobs and had already taken another job because they wanted to have something set in place before they were done with school, out of school. And so we've moved this up so that um, libraries have the opportunity to be more competitive in their hiring, if, especially if they're interested in hiring uh, for a summer internship. Um, the link to follow uh, will be through the now, our Now Hiring site. Um, now Hiring at Your Library is uh, followed here from our homepage to Now Hiring at Your Library down along the left. And then you'll go down here to the navigation and click on internships. On this page will be available all of the uh, application forms and also an introduction to the grants, um, what the expectations are of the recipients, um, what the expectations are of the grant program, and some hopefully some um, resources uh, to help you in preparation of your application and then resources to help you um, while you are conducting your internship. Uh, we, we don't want it to end where we write the check and, and that's the end of our relationship with the library. We certainly want to be um, there for the library and the intern to provide as much uh, help as we can in, in the development of, of um, the internship program just through resources or support um, and also to be a resource uh, back during the internship if the um, if the supervisor has some things that they want to explore with their intern, these interns are certainly welcome to attend our Encompass Live presentations or any other training that we offer. Um, we would certainly encourage that sort of thing. And so we would like the, you know, the relationship to continue throughout the internship. Um, and so some of that information will also be posted here once the application process has, com has been completed. This will also be a page of, of resources. And so the next steps are for our libraries to start thinking about uh, whether or not they want to have an internship this year, and if so, um, what the steps are to apply and um, preparing their grant application. Once again, you do not already have to have an intern in mind. Um, you can um, apply first for the grant, and you know, hopefully you receive the grant, and then you can um, put a call out for applications for your, in for your internship. And so the intern does not already have to be selected in advance. Some libraries just get lucky that they know somebody already. <laughs> yep, they already have someone in mind. So um, do we have any, any questions or comments? We have some NLC staff um, um, that are also like on it. the grant team that maybe they have something that, some, some way they'd like to weigh in. I don't know. I'm not sure who's down there watching. No, we have but. Mary Jo Ryan is the grant coordinator, mm -hmm. and uh, she... She has been involved uh, with the internship 
program from the very start with the previous IMLS grant all the way through the NLA. So, and so um, she has been involved uh, from the very beginning, from the inception of this, as well as Laura Johnson and Richard Miller. And then also on our staff, our, uh, on our grant team are um, Deborah Dragos, Rod Wagner, John Felton. And then we are, uh, NLA is in, a, is in partnership with us on the overall IMLS grant. And so um, they are also involved in the process, whether or not they receive their own um, uh, funding from the foundations that they might be applying to at this time, which would provide additional, which would provide additional funding. But at this time, um, we will, uh, the, the grant from IMLS has allowed for three years worth of, um, three years worth of internship funding. And so we will be able to offer this. We know that we will offer this in 2011, 2012, and 2013. And we certainly are excited at the prospect of um, of seeing this continue, of this having um, a shelf life of at least three years, um, and, and you know we hope it will continue after that as well. And so it's been great that um, NLA carried us through the two years, the two dry years, <laughs> when we did not have funding from IMLS, that we were able to keep the momentum going uh, with this great program. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So it's nice, I think, that for, because I know the grant um, application opens up just next week for some libraries that maybe are thinking for the first time ever of this, of, oh my gosh, I can't even, I don't know, what could I do with, a, with an internship, with an intern right now? I've got to figure this out now. You've got a couple more years coming up yet that you can think about it. So if this is too quick for you, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You've got it for next year and the year after as well. So Absolutely. you have time to plan and, and figure out what you want to do if you think this is too quick yet. That's right. That's right. We'll open it up again in January of each of these years. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Laura says thanks. We hear some thanks from the crowd. Thanks, Laura. Thanks to IMLS for the funding. That's right. <laughs> we hear a thanks to IMLS. <laughs> but anybody have any? Are, are you done? Sorry. I think that okay. I think that wraps it up. I just anymore. have a That's couple more slides here good. just to promote. Uh, don't forget, if uh, you've participated, if you've participated, attended today, you receive CE credit. Mm -hmm. If you presented, I think you get double time. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, if you participate. If, yeah. if, you, if you presented today. Ask Laura today, Johnson. She has all the details. Ask yeah. Laura, and she'll be able to mm -hmm. uh, hook you up with your, your CE credits, credits mm -hmm, yeah. for today. And um, just want to, if you're curious about the uh, in overall IMLS grant program, in December we had a... Uh, we had an overview of the entire grant program. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to mention is here we have all of these wonderful parents who um, are offering scholarships and we're 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 offering sc
we'd love to hear back from you if you go ahead and do that. We'd love to hear back from you that you've, that you've offered this to your intern and, and how that went for you. That does it. Okay. That's the end of our presentation. Okay, great. Thank you very much for um, attending this morning. Um, as we just showed you, this was recorded and the session will be up for anyone who wants to listen to and watch it again. Or if um, you uh, know someone who wasn't able to attend live, <laughs> sorry, that's what I'm trying to think of, you can let them know that the recording is out there and they can go ahead and watch it later. So thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you next week to learn about weeding. Thank you, and thanks to our presenters once yes, again. Yes, thank you very much. That was great. Lots of good, very useful information, I think. I was very, I, I learned a lot about it. <laughs> great. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.